hello, hello. That might be nice, hello, hello, instead of hey, hey. Hello, hello, fans of Blue Table Painting. Switch it up. I'm here with this model, Ikit. Converted Ikit. Um, on this model, the client wanted um, some delicious glowiness, some rusted oxidized muted brass for armor and metals, and then some, uh, I believe you said, mottled green brown cloth. So let me tell you a little about what's awesome about glowiness. <laughs> okay, let me put them down. So, what I think makes for a really nice glowy model that I tried to do on this is using contrast of um, things that are extremely bright and colorful right next to things that are dull and just devoid of lots of color. And so this, this model is a good example of that and it goes with what the client wanted. So we've got muted colors for the cloth, muted metallics, you know, oxidization going on to really just dull down that armor. And all of that ties in to make the bits of warp stone glow just really grab your eye. And I have my degree in glowiness. I have a uh, doctorate in painting glowiness. <laughs> so, how long did that take you to get? Oh, um, well, it was one of those uh, online courses actually, uh -huh. which I'm surprised they had a doctorate online. But it, it worked. You know, I sent sent away for a packet. It took me a couple a uh, couple of months. It was worth it though, definitely worth it, because glowiness is cool. PhD glowiness is cooler. Yeah, that really is awesome. That's all I have. Okay, I'm, uh, this is the final um, kill banner for the guns on the Titans. I'm doing chains from the banner itself, and then I'm going to run one of these rods. I got some 16 gauge mild steel and cut it up, so I'm going to run one of these rods. Oop through the last link here, and then do a short chain on the ends and attach it to the magnets on the base of the gun. And I think this is the pretty much the last thing to be done on it. What I did is that there's um, some banners on Bell of Lost Souls that we printed out and then kind of souped up a little bit, so I weathered them, kind of scratched them. We took a couple of the skulls out in Photoshop, and I put some decals on from the Bane Blade transfer. And so I think it really kind of gives some more personality and life to the ones that are originally there. They're a great format to start from, but I think uh, tricking them out a bit is going to make a big difference. So, anyway, this is the last one, yay! Mike, uh, which takes blood away from the heart, veins or arteries? Or are you one of those silent Away cats? from the heart? Yes. I have this conversation with my wife all the time because I never remember. All the time. So whatever you say is obviously going to be... Uh, Look, this is how yeah, whatever I say question. is probably I'll wrong. I'll teach you the way to remember it. Thieves are vain. You're going to teach right? you to do so it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to go, honey, I figured out how to remember it. A vein steals blood from the no, heart. No, a vein takes blood back to the heart. Veins return well, blood to the heart. How are you going to remember that? Heroes are vain. <laughs> Did anybody actually study <laughs> this in school, or are we all just... <laughs> I, I did take an anatomy class. I, I think we're just... In addition, I took weird. science I, classes I in high school. I also took those classes, and my memory is better than Mike's, so... Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? <laughs> what's, right. uh, what do we take all? All right, race to the uh, Wikipedia yeah. site. What's the yeah. answer? Red, you want to do it, or should I come over? I got it. All right. Put on his judge's hat. <laughs> I don't think that would be better for our Okay, here we go. Yep. You're wrong. <laughs> so Wikipedia Our says... Arteries carry blood away from the heart. <laughs> Boom. Who's the scientist now? <laughs> How are we going to remember that? There's no clever way to remember that. Uh, if gonna... we just remember that you were wrong, <laughs> I think we'll be okay. <laughs> well, okay, that'll stick with all of you, but... <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, will somebody explain what's going on with these uh, sticky notes on the door? That's every time I go out of the door, I stick a sticky note on the door. And you have different colors for different people? Yep. I'm pink, obviously. 
that's why we can tell if someone's still in the room. If it's odd, they're gone. If it's even, they're here. Yes. It's a very okay. simple system, that way we avoid hitting people with the door. It got a little <laughs> complicated once we uh, reached a high number of notes on the door. Yeah. You gotta stand outside for a while and count. Because you, you want to know who's in the room. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. It's like they do at, like, um, you know those turnstiles? Like they have at the water park, when you go inside? Yeah. It's counting so that they can keep track of the max maximum occupancy. They don't nice. need to count how many people are there, they just count how many people come in, how many people leave. You should have artery stickers and vein stickers, and when you leave, I'm gonna need to come up with you a new can thing. put an artery <laughs> sticker on, and when you come in, you can put a vein sticker on. Yeah, Heroes are vain. <laughs> <laughs>